Hi, and welcome to another segment of Flu Facts. I'm Sierra Johnson. There are many questions surrounding influenza this season, so we sat down with Athens City and County Health Commissioner, Dr. James R. Gaskell, to help answer a few of these. First, what is the difference between H1N1 and the seasonal flu, and when do these viruses typically occur? There are some differences between H1N1 and seasonal flu. Uh, seasonal flu affects primarily older people and very young people. In other words, the first two years of life and those people who are greater than 60 years of age. H1N1 primarily affects those individuals, say, from 2 to about 45. It seems that the 65-year-olds are protected and get this illness much less frequently. H1N1 influenza is a type A influenza. Seasonal flu is not necessarily a type A. Also, during this past summer, if you presented with influenza, it probably wasn't seasonal flu, it probably was H1N1, because we don't see seasonal flu during the summer months. We don't see seasonal flu until usually November through April. We have uh, tested for H1N1 uh, during the spring and summer months and showed that H1N1 is in our county. And once we showed that the virus was here, it became much less necessary to continue to test people because we knew that if you appeared in your doctor's office with influenza-like illness and it was type A by his rapid testing, it was highly likely to be H1N1 and not seasonal flu because we don't see seasonal flu during the summer months. The H1N1 vaccine is produced with the same technology that's used to produce our seasonal flu. And the seasonal flu vaccine has been a very, very safe vaccine for more than 30 years. Uh, we sometimes see some soreness at the injection site and very rarely people will have an allergic reaction uh, consisting of a rash from the seasonal flu. And since the same technology is used to produce the H1N1 vaccine, it should be a very safe vaccine. And I think that's been the case in the trials that they've uh, conducted so far. The U.S. government will not release that vaccine unless it's a safe vaccine. Thanks, Dr. Gaskell. And remember to keep practicing healthy habits such as frequently washing your hands and covering your coughs and sneezes. It is also recommended that once a flu vaccine becomes available, to take advantage of it to stop the spread of H1N1 and the seasonal flu this school year. Stay healthy, Bobcats.